What's up everyone, I'm here back with another video and in today's video I have a super exciting video for you all and that will be a new NBA Live mobile trailer. So I don't know if you guys have watched some videos from YouTubers who made a video on the new NBA Live mobile trailer. Basically, I don't know if this was a leak or they put this up on purpose, but there's a new trailer in NBA Live mobile on the iOS store with the new trailer for NBA Live mobile. Because NBA Live mobile seems like it's going to get a huge revamp. So if you guys do know, if you have been following Cornell on Twitter, the developer of NBA Live mobile, he has been saying the storm will be coming very soon in NBA Live mobile. I'll put a screenshot of what he's been saying what he's been tweeting right now on the screen so many of us think that this new trailer that dropped a couple days ago has to do with the new storm that is coming so basically i'm going to play the trailer for you guys and huge shout out to baller 42 i'll put the channel link in the description below since i have an android device i cannot find the trailer on my google play store so i used his video to basically analyze the trailer so huge shout out to him i'll put the link in the description below to his video on the new nb Lab mobile trailer so go check that out that i just wanted to give credit to him because that's where i'm gonna be getting this trailer from so i'll play the trailer right here and then I'll analyze it after. Alright guys, so you guys just watched the trailer, it was pretty dope in my opinion, and basically we're gonna go like every couple frames, every couple seconds, stuff like that, and analyze what to see. And in all these things, tell me in the comments below for like every single new change they make, if you like it, you hate it, or you don't mind, or if you have any criticism, or critiques, or something like that. Because I mean, the NBA developers, a great thing about them is they always listen, so if you guys do have uh, like critiques, or like something you want to improve, or maybe you just like love it, then leave it in the comments below, and maybe one of them will just stumble upon this video and see all those comments of things they can do better or things that you guys absolutely love so right off in the new trailer you guys can see the new home screen the new loading screen for NBA Live Mobile you guys can see the home screen you have right here with Russell Westbrook dunking the ball in a blue jersey but in the new trailer it's Russell Westbrook uh, basically about to do a cross up I would say but he's in his white jersey so that's the first change it's not really that big of a change but I mean it's still a change because a lot of these changes are definitely design based and try to make the game look much better so after that Russell Westbrook is just simple dunking and hitting a basket nothing like that but in the third frame with the Cavaliers Warriors you guys can see the thing in the top where we basically see the score right now you have a score here it's just like a blue and stuff like that you just see a team logo in the new NBA Live mobile game at least in the trailer the graphics look much different not the graphics of the players but the graphics like the logo and stuff like that you guys can see the shoot pass and drive buttons all look different in the actual trailer than the actual game so much more design features like I said design improvement so after that display change you guys can see the Cavaliers players about to dunk the ball but it's a block from the Warriors and you guys can see you get a little pop-up that says blocked and then it's their block rating and then the chance of it actually getting blocked so kind of if you guys do play Madden Mobile if you play gets like countered or something you guys will have the little counter thing that pops up and say why what's the reason it was countered and stuff like that you see that meter so about the same idea except in NBA Live Mobile when you get blocked or something like that so you continue from that and this is a big thing when it says run your team you guys can see it says defensive big man shooting and then right underneath that you guys know that big space we have underneath shooting this time it's for rookies so I'm assuming rookie players that came into the league so like Jalen Brown so that is super exciting that's gonna bring a whole new dimension to your franchise rating you're gonna have to bring that up to get your franchise rating back up to where it is and another thing that I noticed that not that many people have talked about is the ratings are all the same so if you guys know the big first update we had in NBA Live Mobile a lot of the ratings changed for example Kyle Korver went from a 77 to a 72 a couple of elites went to gold or a couple of gold went to elites like Clay Thompson went from 82 to an 84 so in this just from the screenshot I've not seen any changes to the ratings which in my opinion are good because you don't have to keep track of three different cards that could be in the game just two different cards which I really like and also what I've noticed the rookies have different lineups so let's say Jalen Brown he has a little rookie thing on the top that signifies he's a rookie but he also has like a defensive card so you can put the rookie in two different places you can put him in the defensive and in the rookie lineup which is pretty cool so you can put the same card in two different lineups unlike any other card in NBA level moving on if you go to the next screenshots just simple things um a little more of a graphic 
change. Let's say you put an elite. I don't know if this is just for an elite, but they basically were putting Russell Westbrook into the big man lineup, and you got a little, like, shimmer. So, I mean, that just looks pretty cool. It's not the really big of a change. It's not just, like, bland like it was anymore. Now it's a little shimmer when they put the card in. In addition, if you see the screen, you guys can see that the Chris Stapps Porzingis, the 80 overall, he has a blue card instead of a red or gold or silver or bronze. His card is blue, so... I don't know if that's a new card in the game or maybe just an Easter egg or something they want to throw in. But that's pretty cool. So the next update we'll definitely have to see if they're at least like blue cards. Maybe like turquoise cards or I don't know what they would even call them. But that's pretty cool and I want to see what type of card range they would make maybe make the blue. In my opinion just from that card art I would guess 80 to 83 would be the blue card. So it would be better than gold but be worse than elite. So tell me what all you guys think that blue card could maybe mean. And then you go to the live event tab. The live event tab looks completely different. Like the top where it says like your level, stamina, coins, NBA cash, mail, and stuff like that. That's all completely changed. And on live events tab, they have new things on the right that says objectives and rookies. So I'm pretty sure like every day or every week or something, they have 10 objectives at least in a screenshot. And they have a little tab underneath that that says rookies. I don't know what the rookie tab does. And then they click on the daily shoot around, and the daily shoot around thing is also completely black. The only thing I don't like is that it costs three stamina. Daily shoot around right now only costs one stamina, and in Madden Mobile, it costs no stamina. But in NBLM Mobile, at least in this new trailer, it costs three stamina. So that's not that great, but I mean, it's not gonna be like game breaking or something. So then if you go to the next tab, it's just a live event, somebody doing a live event. It's a Cavaliers player doing a live event. Basically, you just go in the hotspot and shoot it. That thing will say is 8.8 seconds. That's a little different than the NBA Lab mode right now. So, I mean, just more of a change. It's kind of like put a little black spin on it. Like, everything is a little more blacker than it is. Because right now, a little things are blue. But now the things that were blue are basically replaced with being black. And also, it says a like, great shot after you make it. It's so, like a little bit of encouragement and stuff like that. And we have those dunk live events. It says drive and then dunk. So, it tells new players when to drive in order for the player to actually dunk the ball. Because I know when I started, I never drove. And then whenever I went to the dunk thing, I just tried to swipe up. And it just never dunked because I didn't have the momentum. So, I mean, little things for new players that'll help them. And then the rest of the trailer is basically the same. Nothing different, just more gameplay. But that's the same gameplay we have. So, I mean, this trailer is overall pretty cool. I mean, it's just new content. So, I'm super happy with the new content. But tell me if you guys do like the new trailer. If you guys don't like the new trailer. I'm just excited to see what you guys want to see. So, I'm super hyped about that, the new trailer. Hopefully, a lot of things in the new trailer do actually come true in NBA Live Mode. And maybe they have some hidden stuff they didn't even say in the trailer that will come in NBA Live Mode. That'll absolutely shock us. So, the storm is coming to the NBA Live Mode community. I am so hyped, guys. So, like I said, if you guys are hyped, leave a like on the video. And if you guys have not already, please subscribe to my channel because I'm so close to 5k subs. I'm 50 subs away, so hopefully I'll get it tomorrow or on Wednesday. And make sure to subscribe to be here for all the new NBA Live Mobile content because I will keep you guys updated as soon as new stuff comes out. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Stay awesome and peace. You and I